Nikki's such a good girl. Thank you. I've always been passionate about animals ever since I was little. They completely mesmerize me. I love them to death and I fall in love with each and every one that I photograph. A photographer of animals I think you really have to have number one the love for animals if you're gonna be a dog photographer then you've got to love dogs if you're gonna be a cat photographer you got to love cats if you're gonna be a pet photographer you have to love all animals and be comfortable with working with all of them um, I think the other thing is is that you need a lot of patience so Lee I'm gonna have you go the other side the same side as the reflector Her. Maybe back her up just a teensy bit. Perfect. For the most part, you have to kind of coax them to do what you want, and that can take a lot of time. Oh, she's so cute. Some people can photograph weddings. Some people can photograph animals, you know, some people do portraits. I think you have to fall in love with your clients and what they're doing and, and everything about them. Being able to recognize when a dog is uncomfortable or it needs, you know, some more time or it needs a break, I think all those things are really important to keeping the session and the photography shoot comfortable and stress-free, which I think is the most important thing. It's, I pour all that in there and that's all you want? That's it. Oh, you want kisses instead, I get it. <laughs> Look, it has a little water bottle holder. All set. Oh, cute. Fascinating Those are so to me. beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh my gosh. She's perfect. Kristen, you make that a magazine <laughs> out of There's some trash in there. <laughs> I love the bow. The bow's perfect and we're keeping it. For me, what makes a good photo is there has to be personality coming from the dog, a good glint in their eyes, or a nice little head tilt. Um, there's a lot of different elements that I look for, but the first thing that I go through for is sharpness. I take anything out that's not sharp. I go through and retouch out all of the little like stray hairs. There might be like little bubbles of spit and stuff like that. That stuff all goes. I do adjustments to make it look perfect, but still the dog. That dog on its very best day. Actually, this one doesn't show up. This whole thing is like dead dirt at the beginning. I'm like, awesome. Like I could have moved just a little bit over here, you know, and it would have totally taken care of the problem. So I end up having to do that in post. Sometimes I get excited about certain things and I don't notice other things and then, um, tends to be my downfall sometimes, <laughs> with grass at least. So we have uh, Mindy and her two dogs, Joker and uh, Sugar Ray. I know the dogs, I've never photographed them before, which I'm excited about. Go downstairs and then let them off the lead. Okay. And then they can kind of smell around and do their thing. Come on, shoes. Let's go. When they come in here, it's me getting to know them, to kind of feel how they are, to fall in love with them, and then to capture that and give the clients a shot that they will always look at and see that that's what they remember about their dog and what they love about their dog, and they see that looking back at them every day. What is this? Dog. That's a good spot, sit. Depending on what the dog's energy is like at the time, a lot of times we'll do the kind of more fun action stuff at the beginning to get some of the energy out, and then um, we'll go to the more laying down, a um, little bit more serious type of looks. I do this because I love animals and because I have infinite patience for them.
a lot of times what I do is I'm always looking for the ears and what the ears are doing because they tell so much about what the dog's feeling. People love the ears perked. Sometimes there's a lot of waiting for that one ear to come forward to figure out what sound or word is going to make that look happen. <laughs> he was so cute. I know, he was like stiff, stiff as a board. So my passion for photography um, began with my father. He was a photographer for as long as I can remember and photographed me as a child and a baby. And then when I got into high school, uh, one of the things that we did together was he taught me how to use a camera. It was something that we could do together. And um, he was not the most talkative man, so it was really a special kind of bonding for the two of us. Um, he was a man of very few words. He was very private. So um, having that time with him was um, very special and very uh, meaningful, at least for me. Maybe not so much at the time, but you know, as I got older and after we lost him to cancer, it's always become you know something that I will always remember and cherish. It takes a lot of work to get that shot. The perfect shots um, that shows their personality and how much we adore them and how much they adore us. It takes feeding and love and care. Um, it takes a lot of patience. I do think that dogs make us better humans. I think they make us want to be how they perceive us, which is perfect and um, loving and kind and unconditional teaches us to love our families more, to love our kids, to be patient. So yeah, I think that they make us better humans.